Hi guys, welcome back to another Storytime Saturday. I'm going to be telling you guys about my aversion to smells. So, I'm very strange, I'm not strange, I wouldn't say strange actually. I would say I'm just very sensitive, like I'm very sensitive to smells. So there's a lot of smells I don't like. I, um, I don't even know when it was at this point now. But a while back I talked about my allergies. And so, <laughs> um, so I do have... I also forgot something when I was talking about my allergies, because mostly because I was only listening to food allergies. I do have other allergies. I'm also allergic to oak trees and I'm allergic to wool. Um, and grass, actually. Like I like I can't roll on the grass. I can sit on I can't really sit on it actually. I can walk barefoot on it, but I can't sit on the grass or like roll on it or anything. Cause it makes me itch. But if I walk barefoot on grass, I'm completely fine. I don't know. It's weird. Anyways. Um, but I do have some aversions to smells like um, the smell of pizza. I just, I can't stand the smell of pizza. Oranges, even though, before I was, before I discovered I was, before I became really allergic to oranges, because I was allergic to it when I was little, and that was how we recognized, because I, I get a rash on my arm right here when I eat oranges. And I, the first time it happened, I was like, wait, it happened, I woke up with it the next morning because I ate an orange at night before I went to bed, and then I woke up and I had a rash on my arm, and I'm like, what the? What? I, I had no idea what happened. And then the, the, that, later that day, that same day after the rash went away, the rash like, just faded over over the day, I ate an orange later that day, and I had the rash again, and I was like, well, that has to be a fluke. After the third time it happened, I'm like, then my mom was like, oh yeah, when you were little, you used to be allergic to oranges and you used to get a rash like that. I'm like, why didn't you tell me? She kind of just forgot. She forgot some around allergies sometimes, though. She almost took a walnut for me the other day and then accused me of trying to kill her because she's allergic to walnuts. And I'm like, I forgot. You're allergic to so many things. It's easier for you to tell me the things you're not allergic to. <laughs> How do you think you remember? She almost, she forgot her own walnut allergy and almost took a walnut for me. I'm like, that's not my fault. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, but I'm not talking very much about So yeah, so yeah, so pizza, oranges. Before I was allergic to oranges, I was saying, I couldn't stand the smell of orange if someone else was eating it. Um, but yeah, before I was allergic to oranges, I could I could eat an orange and be fine with the smell. But if someone else eats an orange and I like I can I smell it as they're peeling it, I'm like, oh no, can't can't do that. I, I don't know what it is. I just don't like the smell of oranges when someone else eats them. Same thing with eggs. If someone else makes eggs, I can't stand the smell of the eggs. I don't know. It's just it's like Ugh. I don't like the smell of barbecue. Like, I I don't really like barbecue to begin with. I don't like the grill lines the meat gets. But what we do is we take fish and wrap it in tin, tin foil and put it on the grill for me because I don't like barbecue. But, like, the smell of the smoke from the barbecue, because it lingers and, like, if you open the door, you can it comes inside and you smell it. I don't like that smell, the smoke from the barbecue. I can't. I just, ooh, no. Um, there's some other things I don't. I can't think of at the moment right now. There's other things I just can't think of them right now. But if I think of them, I will get back to you. So, bye. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day. Love you all.